Hey Cancer, what's up? I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of February 2022 and it will be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation, which is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, because this reading is general, it means that the roles can be reversed. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on for you. First couple weeks in February 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Six of Cups. Okay, so there is... Somebody has been a little bit dishonest or somebody is being a little bit avoidant of this connection, which appears to be very... Um, not intense exactly, but very deep, very, very deep. And I, it also comes in as there being a lot of, a lot of nostalgia, but I feel like what's, um, keeping from this connection coming together or coming back together is that somebody hasn't maybe really fully opened up about the truth about something or somebody is avoiding, um, maybe to open up, um, emotionally possibly. Let's see, recent past we have justice. Okay, yeah, it feels like, I actually wanna say that it feels like things were um, being fixed or something was made right here or maybe a decision was made that felt like it brought things to a balance or you know there was justice, but I feel like there's still something that was either left unsaid or somebody is still avoiding something here. Let's see your energy. We have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords. Hold up. Before I say anything, let's see your person's energy. We have the Lovers. All right, so Gemini showing up. We also have Libra showing up. Um, the Lovers and the Queen of Cups. So you're showing up here in their energy. I feel like this is somebody who definitely feels like this connection is very strong. Um, definitely has you um, on their mind and in their hearts. Again, it feels like something though, some, someone is just not really being expressive. Some, there's something that needs to be expressed in order to fix a particular event or situation here. So you with the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords, I feel like you are actually communicating. You are um, interested in what's going on with this person. You're interested in this connection with this person, but you're also you're also tired. I feel like you have been, you've either been waiting for something that seems to just be dragging out or something along those lines. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see for the near future coming up, we have the four of swords. All right, so that's, something is healing here. I feel like there is some kind of a recovery from whatever it is that has happened. And the message for you is the fool. All right, so Aries also showing up here. I feel like things are going to take an unexpected turn. But let's see. Let's clarify this. All right. So for the Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups, let's see what's going on here. The High Priestess. The Two of Wands and the Hanged Man. Yeah, so a lot of waiting here. A lot of waiting for something to come back together or just, I don't know if it's somebody that's just making a lot of excuses for something that has happened. And it almost comes in as the other person would be willing to accept this, um, to accept the connection or to accept an apology or to accept what happened if only the other person could be honest about it. Um, because I feel like somebody's holding back here. Somebody is holding back what they want to say or something that they could say. It's like they're just kind of stuck. Either stuck in the quietness, stuck in the excuses, or stuck in just not really um, doing anything about it. But let's see justice in the recent past. That's, that's interesting. All right, the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords showing up again. 
Okay, so somebody tried to make things right, but they didn't go full out. Maybe it appeared to be um, like they were, you know, being 100% honest or that they were about to do whatever it is that they needed to do in order to fix this. But I feel like in the end, they didn't. So that's why now they're back in that Seven of Swords energy, because even Justice, it, it's attached to the Seven of Swords, which is a little bit, um, it can be a little bit deceptive. So it's like, yeah, somebody did not give 100% here when they tried to make things right. So it's like there were loose ends that were left, which may not have been apparent in the beginning. And maybe, um, you know, they were discovered later for some of you. And then for others of you, maybe it was clear even at that point in time that this person is just still making excuses, um, still not giving enough in order to patch things up here. All right, let's see. Let's see the Ten of Wands, which is in your energy. All right, the Emperor, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, Six of Cups showing up twice. You're really wanting this connection. You do want a reconciliation with this person or for things to be, um, you know, to make up <laughs> or whatever it is that has happened here. But there's a commitment here and I'm not sure. For some of you, it may be on the other person's end. Because they also have the lovers, which you can talk about a choice um, that does involve love. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a romantic partner. It could be. It could be anything. It could even be work related. But there's definitely some kind of a a commitment here, and I feel like whatever that is, whether it's on your side or their side, it it's something that has really worn you out. Like you just feel like. You know, you, you can't carry on in this way anymore. In the way that things have been. In the way that things have been. Like, there needs to be some kind of a change here. In order for you to release that burden. It almost feels crippling to you. Hmm. Let's see that page of swords. All right, Page of Swords showing up again, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Fool. Yeah, like I said, you want things to be different. You know that things need to, there has to be either a leap of faith, um, somebody to really, you know, um, <laughs> do something far-fetched here. That's how you're thinking of this. You're feeling like, okay, you know, something, it's like something drastic needs to happen. And it feels like, you know, you're communicating this. You're communicating this um, to the other person, hoping that it's going to bring about these results or just, you know, waiting to see if it's going to bring about these results. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the lovers. Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. They're trying to maintain some kind of a balance here. They're trying to keep the peace. Um, it's like for you, you're wanting them to do something drastic is the feel of it. Um, in order to fix this, in order to patch things up. Um, but they're, they're trying to keep things stable, so it doesn't feel like, like at least at the moment, that that's what they're doing. Um, <clears throat> it's like they're trying to keep that middle ground where, you know, nothing is going to get dramatic or um, difficult. 
even though they do realize that, you know, a new, a new path needs to be taken here. Especially if they want this connection with you to work, which they do, all right? They're really feeling the intensity of that. But all of this, even the fact that they're keeping themselves in that state of, okay, you know, trying to just keep the peace, that's actually stressing them out. It's backfiring. It's not working at all. All right, so that's also Sagittarius that is showing up. Let's see the Queen of Cups. Ooh, the lover showing up again. Um, death and the Four of Cups. Wow, okay. So even though they're trying to keep the peace and, you know, that, that's stressing them out, I feel like this person is actually um, realizing that Whatever it is that they're doing, it's backfiring. It's backfiring against against um, against this connection, and it's showing up twice here. I mean, the lovers showing up twice in their energy as well as the Queen of Cups. I mean, this person really has a lot of love for you. Really has a lot of um, emotions for you, and so because they're, it's like they're realizing that this is backfiring. They want to put an end to that, to whatever it is that is. Um, creating the stress or to whatever it is that is um, keeping this back. All right, because I see with death, uh, first of all, okay, Scorpio. Some of you might be dealing with Scorpio. I, we do also have strong Gemini, as I said before. Um, I think I did call out Libra as well. Um, this person is not happy at the moment, and this is what they're intuitively beginning to understand and realize that they're not happy, happy. There's some kind of settling here, especially with Temperance and the Four of Cups. And so their intuition is telling them to put an end to that. Put an end to that discontentment. Put an end to the settling for whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is, if it's, um, Settling for, you know, their own self being deceptive or lying or making excuses. Um, settling for things to be peaceful. I feel like things right now are not meant to be peaceful. Something, somebody needs to actually get out of their comfort zone. Alright, let's see the Four of Swords for what is coming up. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like there's still this essence of struggling to find a balance, um, but putting in more, more effort and focusing more on that emotional expression. Because it does feel like somebody needs to really come clean emotionally. And I feel like that's what this is moving towards. And that's actually what's going to bring the peace. It's like first things need to get a little shaken up before the peace can comes in. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> but what I meant to say is that things need to get shaken up before the peace can come in. I'm sure you guys got that. <laughs> All right, um, <clears throat> yeah, so it does feel like, um, I feel like they're not 100% there yet coming up, but I do see movement in that direction and at least putting in that effort. Trying to figure out how they can actually um, come in the right way as this Knight of Cups, express themselves emotionally and honestly to fix something to recover from whatever it is that has happened. All right, let's see the full for the message for you. All right, the Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups. Okay, so there's definitely, yeah, I feel like things are going to take an unexpected turn here. 
Um, the message for you could even be for you to take, you know, if, the, if you see that this person is not um, taking that measure that they need to take or, you know, doing whatever it is that they need to do to get out of their comfort zone and because I feel like they need to do something big in order to um, make things right here. So if you see that they're not doing that, um, then the message for you could definitely be for you to do that then. You know, what if you were to take a drastic measure on your, on your, on your own? What if you're the one to take a leap of faith here and, you know, to do something unexpected? Again, only if it's in line with your intuition and what with your internal guidance. But this is definitely very action oriented, but whatever this action is, yeah, it might come with a little bit of sadness at the same time. But I feel like, you know, the end result will be something that is positive. Sometimes, you know, um, embarking on a new journey here, like this fool, it can require that there, there's also a little bit of sadness because, well, starting on a new journey sometimes means leaving something else behind. So just take that however it resonates. All right, answer. If this resonated, let's see. The final oracle message for you, we have number nine, euphoria, honor yourself. So yeah, honor yourself. You know, if somebody is not being honest with you or is not willing to take, you know, a big step that they, needs to be taken, you know, you have to honor yourself and do what you feel would be in your highest good, at least for now right? Things can always shift later. But yeah, those are the messages for you, Cancer, for February. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.